Hello everyone, welcome to my channel. In this video, I will do a demo and a tutorial on how to running animate diff prompt travel locally on Windows and also on Linux. So here is the Windows. So for Windows, I had a lot of trouble installing it. Eventually, I was able to do it. So I'm showing you today how to do that. I think the commands also work for Linux. I did a, a, a try yesterday. I will also try it again today, but I want to share with you right now on Windows. So I have uh, Windows 10 installed. Mm, I actually use the two machine, so they both work. So that's a little trick. I will explain that later. Um, so if you are new to this, please uh, check out my previous video about uh, animator diff Kali. So that tutorial, it just explains uh, the requirements and also set up for the Python virtual environment. So I will skip that. Um, so you will need to go to your Anaconda prompt. You would need to get a clone the repository. Yeah. And uh, go into that. Then you would need to download several model files. So they are the same as the animated diff Kali. So make sure that you can follow the tutorial on that. And after that, you will need to create uh, your virtual environment. So, and activate that. Yeah, so uh, because I already had that, so I just uh, um, activate uh, the virtual environment. All right, so next thing you would need to do is to install the PyTorch. So this is a little different from the GitHub repo. So the GitHub, they didn't just specify the PyTorch version. Unfortunately, for now, you would need uh, to use the older version. So you need to specify the 2.0.1 in your command and it will, will download a bunch of files and install those. Yeah, yeah, my bad. So those are the two lines should be together. Right, so, so eventually you will need to install extra packages, extra dependencies, so those are three lines. You also do those. And X formals. And uh, OMMX runtime. And pandas. So the reason I had a pandas here was because I had the error previously. So I had to install that in order to continue running the program. Go into your clone the repository. You go into your config directory. There's a prompt. You would see there are a bunch of file here, which is the configuration for your experiment run. So we can just quickly open one. And uh, I will show you how to make a change according to your setup. So for example, it's based on your as stable diffusion model files. So, so for example, if you have your model files in this directory, the, the name needed to be copied uh, to this place. So make sure that uh, you have the a path defined well here. 
So this is for the Debug Diffusion path. And this one is for Animate Diff. There's a Motion module here. So make sure you also have that. So next, uh, you want to do is if you have any LoRa, you store those into um, into the data models. There's the LoRa directory. You store that in here. So and uh, this is the complete path for that. Similarly, for the motion LoRa, you can do store those in here and uh, put the file name in the config file here. All right, so, so next uh, uh, one very powerful feature about uh, this uh, project is that it allows you to use one of the library called uh, IP adapter. So basically it allows you to use the uh, image as input to stable diffusion. So that way you can have better control about what the subject look like. So you would uh, put your image into the IP adapter image directory here. For example, I did a quick test, just to store one random image in here. So, so this uh, can be used as the input to stable diffusion, which is really powerful, all right? So, so make sure that uh, your directory is uh, specified here. And the next thing part is the control net map. So it also defines the location on your config file. So we can go to the data control net image here, and there's a test. So, so within this directory, we see you can put your uh, control net input in here so that the program can detect uh, those and uh, process those. So for example, originally when you clone the repository, you would have several example files. So I would uh, keep uh, several here so as an example. They also have one is a soft edge here. So all right, so so yeah, so there are several places that uh, like very important so for your experiments. All right, so I think others uh, you can leave them as uh, original if possible. Mm, yeah, so another thing is also very important is the prompt. So as the name suggests, it's uh, prompt travel. So it, uh, there are three parts for the prompts. One is the head, one is the prompt map, another is tail. So head and the tail are the, basically the same, but the middle part, you can specify the detailed description for each location, for each frame. So for example, on the frame zero, you want uh, to be like this, on eight like this, 16 like this. So you can make a modification based uh, on your designing. So that's uh, the whole idea, all right? So so if you made every other change, make sure that you save it and uh, we will use that in our next session. All right, so 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 let's uh, go ahead to run to run yet mm. uh, so let's uh, so you would need uh, the name for your configuration file And uh, the the L there is uh, dash L, which defines the length for your, the video. So we will use sixteen. It will be very short, but because it's for testing purpose, it works perfectly. All right. All 
All right, so so let's uh, go ahead. So my GPU here is uh, 3060. It should use the almost all the VRAM. Somehow I, I think uh, there may be something wrong about uh, the utilization. So if I'm running Linux, it shows uh, like 99% uh, uh, utilizing, but on Windows it only shows about uh, ten percent. Okay, so we see that uh, generation has been completed and uh, we can go into the output. Yeah, this is our generated uh, videos. This one is the higher resolution. I think that's uh, much better. Okay, so uh, mm. another thing I want to mention is that uh, uh, when I do the experiments only, uh, I found that uh, I was not able to generate anything. So the issue was that I had to start an account in like admin account. So you 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 go to your ad an account, you right click you run it uh, as an administrator so this may solve the problem so, so that was the uh, how i solved the problem so if you find uh, an issue i suggest you to do that too so so that would be also very similar you can go into your directory Yeah, so that will be exactly the same as I showed earlier. So you can follow my previous uh, steps. So, all right, so that's all for today. Thank you very much. If you have any questions, feel free to reach out. Please subscribe to my channel. Goodbye.